so today is um, Sunday, October 30th, and it's just about 3 in the afternoon. Um, I haven't edited last week's vlog yet because I've been um, uploading and scheduling the art videos for today. And I'll probably edit the uh, vlog later tonight. Um, but Dad's going to take me on another driving lesson. Uh, we're going to run out and get a wrap for Diamond because we didn't do that yesterday because we were just tired and decided to do it today. And I think I'm going to be practicing parallel parking. That'll be fun. So, yeah, I need to get changed because I'm in my comfy pants and I need to go. So, um, I plan on finishing this art piece um, tonight when I get back, hopefully, because uh, Walking Dead's tonight, so I definitely want to watch that live. Okay, so I just finished my last Inktober piece. Um, it's about 8 o'clock, and Patrick actually finished making dinner over an hour ago, but I wasn't ready to eat yet, so I just wrapped it up, so I'll eat that here in a bit before Walking Dead, but I am so happy with this piece, so I had to, had to show it to the vlog. Um, by the time this vlog goes up, you'll have seen this long before, but yeah, I kind of went nuts with my fine text, and I used my uh, Windsor Newton Gold on the outside, and yeah, I mean, there's a couple of things I wish I'd done differently, but I'll mention that in the art video. So by the time you're watching this, the art video is up, and you can watch it, but yeah, no, I'm pretty thrilled with this, so um, I'm going to set it up and take my photo for Instagram and then clean up my mess because yeah, I made a mess um, and then I'm going to eat dinner and then I got Walking Dead in like an hour, so yay! Hello, so it's Monday and it's Halloween! Um, so I have to edit my, uh, last Inktober video and get that posted, um, and then start scanning stuff today. So I'm going to eat lunch and then start working on that. But first, I has company. Are you going to stop moving now when I turn the camera on you? There's a kitty in there. He was insistent on coming into my room and then he got curious about my blankets and decided to crawl in there. Oh, I say no. Are you still in here? <laughs> yep, there's your head. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you comfortable? Hi. <laughs> you you having fun under there? You silly. You silly kid. I... Hi. Do you, you want to go back under? Okay. But. Okay, I guess he's happy in there, so I'm going to eat. So, I've got the tedious process of scanning to do right now. I'm scanning all 30 of my pieces in a row, and, and then I'll open them up in Photoshop and clean them one by one over the next, like, day or two. Um, there's only 30 because one of the pieces that I, I did of Mac, um, Lucille already has. Um, I never scanned it before giving it to her, but, you know, that was a gift anyway, so... We've got a photo for, like, social media sites, but it's not like it was getting sold or something, so. But, yeah, so this is taking a while, so i got YouTube up, and I'm just kind of watching videos and scanning. I think this is going to take me a while, but um, I still got to edit the video for tonight, too. So I think once I'm done with the scanning part, I'm going to edit that and have it exporting. Or maybe I should do that now. I don't know. I got to do it, so. Hey, so it's Wednesday, and it's like 6 in the evening. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I kind of forgot, and I didn't really do much anyway. Um, so, yeah, I just finished um, uploading and listing every Inktober piece on my store Envy. So, I got my, all my listings and uh, everything's wrapped up in plastic and 
had a nice and simple line going while I was working on that, and I'm just re-watching Stranger Things while I was doing it. So that's done now. Um, so I think I'm probably just going to fix a few more things in the store and then have it go live tomorrow. So hopefully I'll sell some of these. Um, um, the only other thing I really got to do today is I'm going to fold laundry and maybe dye my hair today. Depends on time. So I also got to uh, catch up on drawing prompts too because I want to record that video tomorrow. So yeah. Well, I'm dying my hair. Um, I did everything I needed to do today, and I had some free time, and I'm not sleepy yet, even though it's like 9 o'clock, I'm still pretty good, so I was like, eh, I'll dye my hair, might as well get it over with. Um, so I just finished applying it, so I got about half an hour before I got to rinse it out. Um, I'm dying it black, so that means the blue's going away, but uh, I'll definitely do blue again in the future, just, um, you know, once I get my license, I plan on going for job interviews. And having bright turquoise hair is probably not a good idea for that, so I'm just going to dye it black. Which is a color I've been dyeing my hair since I was like 14, so it's, it's something I know I like, and I know it looks good on me. So, just, oh man, I bought, I got the stuff at Hannaford, so it's just a regular random box of hair dye. And um, I haven't used a chemical based hair dye in a while, unless you can't like bleach, because um, all of the colors that I use, they're vegetable based dyes, it's like Manic Panic and stuff like that. Um, so vegetable based dyes aren't smelly. This is the first chemical based dye I've had to use in a really long time. So the fumes kind of caught me off guard. So me and my brother were both sneezing a lot upstairs. He was just kind of hanging around and I asked him just kind of look at the back of my head and tell me if I missed a spot or not. So yeah. But anyway, now I just got to let this goop sit on my head for half an hour and then I can rinse it out. Yay. Hello. So it's Thursday and it's about one in the afternoon. And I've already done quite a bit. Um, so here's my hair, all dyed black. It's got some blue tints to it because of where the hair was bleached, but uh, that'll fade and it'll look more natural in a little bit because I've done this before. Um, so Dave and I just took Patrick to work and then we ran some errands. I got a wrap for Diamond. So um, I got to clean his cage before I feed him. And I got some new headphones because mine broke. So yeah. So I'm going to eat some lunch, and I finished um, uploading all of my Inktober pieces to Store Envy. So I'm going to make sure my page is exactly how I want it, and make an announcement on social media and open my store up. Um, and then I want to record my art video today. I'm just doing my drawing prompts sketchbook tour video, so yeah. I just, that's, thankfully it's an easy one. It's just, you know, flipping pages on camera, so... Yeah, that's the plan for today, and I'm going to make dinner later tonight, so, yep. So it's a little after 9.30, or just before 9.30, actually. Um, so my store is live, and I made all the announcements and everything, and I recorded my art video for Saturday. I'm transferring the clips right now. Made dinner. Um, wasn't able to make exactly what I wanted to, because turns out uh, when Dad and I went shopping on Sunday, we forgot some stuff. So, we had to improvise, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm probably, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video and get it exporting and I'll upload it sometime tomorrow for Saturday. And yeah, other than that, I'm just kind of browsing around on the internet. So, yeah, I, because it feels bit, kind of like a lazy day, but I, I got a lot accomplished. It's just, I don't know. <sighs> so it's Friday and it's about 2 in the afternoon. Um, I'm feeling kind of achy today, and so is Dad, but we got stuff to do, so we're just going to get over it, I guess. Um, so he's up, and we're getting ready to go soon. Um, uh, Dad and I are going to go vote, um, because early voting is open in Massachusetts until today. Like, today's the last day to do it, and then Tuesday's actual election day. And I just want to get it over with because I don't want to deal with long lines on Tuesday. And Tuesday's also my road test. So, yeah, it's just easier just to vote today. Um, so we're going to go vote at City Hall, at, uh, Town Hall. And um, then we're going to pick up Patrick from work, go see Dwayne, and go get groceries. So we're going to be out, like, all day. So not going to be a whole lot of vlog material today, unfortunately. But, yeah... Um, probably gonna do most of the driving. Um, so another thing we gotta figure out this weekend 
is my road test because um, none of the cars we have are legal for the road test because in Massachusetts your car has to have an emergency brake in the middle console that the passenger seat can reach um, and none of them do and it's actually quite rare in American cars to have that so but it's required by Mass state law so dad's gonna call some rental companies or something and see if we can find one otherwise I gotta cancel my road test and reschedule it so yeah fun Anyway, I just finished lunch, so I should probably, like, do my hair and get ready to go. I'm gonna go vote. <sighs> well, so much for voting. Um, apparently early, early voting closed at noon today. And Dad worked last night, so he wasn't waking up before noon. It wasn't gonna happen. So, we get to go out on Tuesday with the lines, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Um, we're already making plans to... Assuming we can get a rental car for the road test um, to go vote like really early like 10 or something um, And then go out to Greenfield and pick up the car because dad's gonna try to a rental place out in Greenfield And then I'll drive around for a little bit. We'll get lunch and then go to the RMV for my test so Assuming it all works out that way, but he's off Monday as well So he'll be able to wake up earlier on Tuesday and uh, we'll just do everything Tuesday, I guess um, Patrick already voted. He, um, he works at a local radio TV station, for those of you who may not know. And, um, uh, about twice a month, it's his job to record town hall meetings. So he was doing that Tuesday night, and he showed up early before the recording. Had some time to kill, so he decided just to vote since he was there. So, he's got that out of the way, so it's just me and Dad now. So, yeah, no, this is an election I do not want to miss. So there's a lot of things, uh, a lot of things going on this year. I want to make sure that I vote on. So, um, the, again, for, for viewers outside of mass who may not know, um, alongside the presidential election, there's also the local stuff too. And some of the ballot questions, one of the ballot que uh, questions on the ballot this year, question four in Massachusetts is the legalization of recreational use of marijuana. Um, so that's up. And that's passed in, I believe, four states, or three states in the District of Columbia. So that's up on the Massachusetts ballot this year, and I want to vote yes on that. So, And uh, there's a couple other questions. So, yeah, I want to I wanna vote on that, and then the presidential election. I definitely want to vote that. I want, definitely want to vote on that, because... <sighs> this is one of those elections where there's no really ideal candidate. But there's a clear person you don't want. Don't want Trump. Don't want Trump. So, you know, even if the worst should happen and he should win, I'll at least feel better knowing that I voted. So, yeah. it's gonna Tuesday is going to be real tense. To say the least, with the road test and the election results. It's going to be a very, very tense day. Depending on how things go, I might ask my dad if we can get some alcohol or something. Because I might need a drink on Tuesday. I don't know. Anyway, um, dad asked me to format an SD card because he got this little, um, he got this thing at Radio Shack or like the other, the store like Radio Shack last week. And it's, um, like this computer chip thing. It's like an independent computer thing that you can program to handle certain tasks like he wants to brew beer again and apparently this computer board thing will do that I don't really know how it works but he needs operating software so I need to put that on this for him so because his uh he doesn't have a computer computer he only has an iPad and it can't read these so I get to do it so dad called the rental company no go on the rental company even if the in inspector is in the front seat the driver still needs to have a license but you know, before I could really panic, um, Dad suggested that we ask my mom if her car had any brake, if we could use it. Um, we weren't sure if her car would be, like, you know, fully inspected or, like, legal to drive for that or not. But we called her, and it sounds like her car does have any brake. And after confirming make and model and Googling it and looking at shots of the interior, it does have any brake, or at least it should. really hope so, because we're going Monday evening to swap cars. So... 
um, they're going to swap out, uh, dad's car, because dad's car is registered, and mine's not yet, um, so, yeah, so I'll get mom's car for the test on Tuesday, and she'll get to use dad's, uh, what was it, 96, uh, Roadmaster, Buick Roadmaster, we call it the Land Yacht, because it's huge, so, she'll get the Land Yacht for a day. And we'll get her car for a day. So we're going to go out really early on Tuesday and vote. And then head out to Greenfield, have lunch, drive around, do the test. That's the plan. But anyway, so it sounds like we've got a car. So it's one less thing to worry about, thankfully. But I'm still, I just, I just want it to be done. Oh, I've wanted it to be done for so long. I'm 28 and I'm just now going for my road test. This will be the first road test I've ever taken too, by the way. I've got many permits. Never done the test. I need to get it done. <sighs> anyway, now that that's over with, I'm waiting on Dad's download for his toy, um, and the website's being weird, but Dave and Josh are upstairs playing a game, so it's probably slowing the internet down, so I'm not going with them to go see Dwayne today, because I'm just not up for it, so I think I'll just hang out, maybe catch up on some YouTube subscriptions, or I was thinking of messing with my Patreon page and fiddling with it, so I might do that too. Hello, so it's Saturday, and it's like, I don't know, 3, I think? Yeah, it's 3. Um, so, I had something planned for today, but Dave's friends are over, so I can't really do it. Um, so I'm just kind of messing around right now. Um, I'm making another chart. <laughs> um, which I know I said I wouldn't do after making this one several months ago, but um, I was watching my YouTube subscriptions this morning and uh, Donica Sills did this little thing about um, glazing in watercolor, which is uh, a different mixing technique. This one is you mix the colors in your palette and then you apply it, but glazing is you put one color down, let it, like a thin wash, let it dry, and then do another color on top of it. And it gives a different effect, apparently, when you mix them that way. So, I've got nothing better to do. I'm going to do it. So, hopefully, uh, it won't take forever. So, yeah, I'm um, taping out the grid. So, I've got my painter's tape here, and I'm cutting them with my X-Acto knife to make thin strips. And, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do today, because I had can't really do my other plan and I have nothing else to do really so I'm just gonna play with my watercolors today I guess. Well this is going a lot better than my last one because it's a, a glazing technique I don't have to pre-mix every color and then apply it I'm just painting in stripes so it's going quite fast so I'm pretty happy with it and I'm already like in like I'm I'm watering down every color a lot before I apply it, so um, with my other one, I was kind of going for some pretty saturated color. Um, tried to keep the paint to water ratio one to one and tried to keep the different colors of paint one to one. It's hard to keep track of, but you know, I wanted, you know, pigmented color, so this one's going to be more saturated, more desaturated and more watered out, so that's a pretty good uh, different balance. and getting some nice pastels. I'm, I'm watering these down pretty much to the point where it's mostly water, just a little bit of paint, so yeah. And because I'm painting in stripes, it's so much faster, so I'm pretty happy. So I think I'm probably going to spend the rest of the evening finishing this up and I'll probably post it to Instagram or something because I'm not recording it because meh, I already did that. Been there, done that, right? So yeah. So it's about 10.30, and um, I was Skyping with John and Alicia for a little while. We were talking about all kinds of random stuff, um, talking about the road test next week. I was kind of drilling John for a couple of questions and talking about the election. Um, John's actually got Tuesday off, so I think um, the three of us are going to Skype on Tuesday and watch the results. So we'll either cry together or rejoice together, depending on how that goes. And hopefully I'll have some good news about my road test. Um... 
what else? We were talking about a bunch of stuff, me and John, about tattoos and piercings and things like that. Um, things that we want to get done and things that we have done and stuff. Because I'm thinking of getting some more work done. Like, I know I want more tattoos, but I'm thinking of getting more piercings as well. So, uh, we were talking about that for a little while. And talking about all kinds of random stuff. Dogs, because they're still looking at another dog. And, yeah, the usual. Usual lot with us. Art was showing John a couple of YouTubers that I follow. And uh, working on my chart. And I finished it. And I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. Went a lot faster than the last one. This one did not take me three days like the other one did. But, uh, yeah. So here's my uh, glazing chart. And I really like how it turned out. It's um, all the same colors. Let me actually get this oriented in the same way. All the same colors. But this one's like more saturated and darker than this one. Because I used very light, very watered down washes for this. And I like... I like seeing the distinction of, like, watered down and saturated, so I like knowing that. And I really like some of the colors of, like, my actual watercolors themselves when they're watered down because I got some nice pastel shades, but, like, this top line is them really saturated, so... No, I really, really like how this turned out, so... And this one's a lot cleaner looking than that one because I kind of had a better idea of what I was doing this time, so... Yeah. No, it turned out really nice. So, um, like I said, I didn't record it because I just, I already did that. I already did a chart video. Um, and, uh, I posted my drawing props video this morning and then next week I'm going to do a cheap art supply challenge. So yeah, I've got a plan for that, but, but yeah, I shared the photo of the chart on Instagram because I figured I'd, you know, show off my work. So yeah, that was my day. I was working on this thing all day and talking with, with John Alicia. So, not a bad day. Kind of makes me want to paint, though, because I'm looking at these really nice pinks I've got. But that's for another week. So, yeah, it's late enough that I'm thinking I'm probably going to get ready for bed, feed the cats, and then just kind of call it a night. And then, yeah, tomorrow's another day. So, um, I'm actually editing this vlog tomorrow, so I should probably end it now. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Usually when I have my art table set up, I gotta kick him out because he likes to lay on it. And with its, you know, the fact that it's prone to collapsing, not so good. Hi. I know, buddy. I know. I'm so mean. You always lay down on my art. He sees the paper and he's like, I'm just gonna lay down right here and sleep. But you can't do that when I'm painting. That's why I have to kick you out. I'm only doing Inktober for a couple more days. Okay?